So is this team saying that you do not believe there's any combination of carrots and sticks, incentives and sanctions or threat of sanctions that could <coughs> get Iran to alter its trajectory? No, I wouldn't say that. I think it's conceivable. <clears throat> I think it's the question is whether we can do enough damage to the economy to threaten this regime and make them think uh, they really their survival depends on doing a deal with the United States. We haven't been able to do that partly because oil was hitting one hundred and forty dollars a barrel. That's what we ought to be trying right now. How? Well, uh, the question is really whether the Europeans, the Chinese, the Russians would be willing to join us in more severe sanctions, for example, um, preventing the importation of gasoline uh, into Iran, stuff that would really refined, refined products that would really hurt their economy, um, more financial sanctions. Uh, I think all of this is worth trying. We'll see whether it works. The problem is that it may well not work. Well, I think that I think that. Uh, the approach that the Obama administration is, is now pursuing is, uh, has a chance to work, not just because of the sanctions and the fact that, that oil is, is at such a low level and that creates a problem for them, but also if we can succeed in putting together in effect an international phalanx, Russians, Chinese, Europeans, Arabs and Israelis, uh, against Iran's acquisition of nuclear capabilities, that will, I think, also play on the minds of the Iranians. If they begin to feel that, that they're the ones who are isolated, far from dominating the region, that they're going to be left behind by it, then it may concentrate their minds more. And that's where I think, and this becomes a little complicated, but I think it's important that at the same time as we try to engage the Iranians and line up the international community, we also try to promote peace between Syria and Israel, these two countries that want to do that. That would have the effect, if we could achieve that, of taking Syria out of its alliance with Iran, realigning the situation in a way that would cut Iran's conduit to Hezbollah and to Hamas, and in, in that way also start to roll back Iran's influence from the Middle East heartland. And the combination of these approaches uh, can, I think, have the, the effect of persuading Iran that it's better to try to sit down and negotiate. Then we have a problem, because when they sit down and negotiate with us, they have an interest in playing out the clock, because their centrifuges are, are continuing to roll, they're building up nuclear uh, weapons material. And how we get them to have a sense of urgency is going to be the biggest challenge for the Obama administration. 